So I just want to clarify, when you walk down that scale, it's um, that when he hits that A note, he hit it twice. I don't know if I said that, but he actually plays that A note 12th fret on the A string twice. And the first time he bends up a half step and the second time he bends up kind of like a quarter step. He doesn't really reach the half step point. And then he goes to the G note and he bends that up a half step. So that whole thing is... Now that whole section, every note up until that point was played with chicken picking. Um, so he's just using his fingers and he has his pick either tucked in here or... I don't know really where he has his pick. Um, but then he... The next section, he pulls the pick out. He does have it in his hand somewhere, but he pulls the pick out... And everything after this pretty much is picked with a pick. Now, when I played it, I, I still did some chicken pick, and I just like the sound of popping notes every once in a while. But so that next part is. Now he plays that again with the pick. And I think I actually used my middle finger to grab that uh, E note on the E string. And it just gets a little pluckier sound. And again, throughout this whole thing, I do more chicken picking than he actually does. Um, it's just personal taste and preference, I guess. Um, so anyway, so that next section, it goes, he plays the 12th fret of the B string and he bends that up. He bends that up a whole step. Now those two notes don't ring together. Um, so when he bends the 12th fret up on the B string a whole step, he grabs the 12th fret on the E string, but again, those two notes don't ring. You don't have that, it's... And then he adds vibrato, so he plays that. And then he plucks that twice. And then he pulls off the 12th fret to the 9th fret on the E string. Uh, and... Then he plays the uh, 12th fret of the B string and he bends that up a half step. Uh, so the whole thing is... And he stops that note. Then he pulls it from the 12th fret to the 10th fret on the B string. So that whole thing is... Now, that is this note here on the ninth fret of the E string. I've been saying he's playing the pentatonic. Well, some of it's major pentatonic, some of it's minor, and some of it's this uh, pentatonic with the sixth in it. So you have, instead of like E minor pentatonic being... You have... So instead of this note... You have. And that's a very typical, we've talked about it before, Robin Forty kind of thing, Larry Carlton, uh, you know, everybody kind of does it. It's a really, it's a cool way of throwing in just one note of different flavor into your pentatonic stuff. Um, all right, so let's go on to the next part. Okay, so after he pulls off from that 12th fret to the 10th fret, he, there's a pause in there, a little rest. And then he does the the 10th fret, he, he shifts his hand down to this position, and he plays the 10th fret, and he bends that up. Up and down again. It's a, a half step, so... And then he pulls off to that 8th fret, so... And down to the 9th fret on the G string. So everything's on the B string until he goes to that note. So it's uh Then he goes to the tenth fret on the E string and he rolls down to the tenth fret on the B string. So that's and when he rolls down to that tenth fret on the B string, he bends that up. So it's and that note is cut off, so it's, uh, there's, there's a lot of kind of staccato-ness in this whole thing. Uh, so the whole thing is, then 
Then he hammers on from the eighth fret to the tenth fret on the B string. So that's. Then he does a typical blues phrase where he bends up the eighth fret on the B string twice. And he goes down to the uh, ninth fret on the G string. So that eighth fret is on the B string. And that's going right to your root note. So it's your, ma uh, your, your minor third to major third. Uh, did I say minor third to major third? I think it is. So that whole thing is... And now he goes from that minor third to major third, and he rolls down, that's the eighth fret to the ninth fret on the B string, and then he rolls down to that E note again on the ninth fret of the G string. Then he starts pivoting off of the tenth fret of the B string and that ninth fret of the G string. So. Then he slides the 10th fret up to the 12th fret um, on the B string, and then he plays, again, he starts pivoting off of these two notes, um, and these start ringing together. Uh, of the 12th fret of the B string to the 10th fret of the E string, so that's... So he starts playing those, I think he picks those separate once, then he starts playing them together. So it's... Then he slides up from the 12th fret to the 14th fret on the B string. And he, so the 12 to 14 on the B string, then he plays the 12 and 14 on the E string, and he bends that 14th fret up a half step. And he goes back, resolves back down to that E note on the E string 12th fret. So that's. Uh, and he plays that E note twice. Then he plays the 14th fret again on the E string, and now he bends that up a whole step instead of a half step. So it's. Uh, And then he cuts that off. Once he raises that up, he cuts it off. So that whole thing is. And now he goes to the 15th fret of the E string. He bends that up a whole step. And he bends it down. So it's. When he bends that down, and then he plays, that's on the 15th fret. He pivots off the E note, 12th fret of the E string, back to the 14th fret of the B string, and I think he goes back up to that E note on the 12th fret of the E string. So the whole thing. Now he bends up from the 19th fret, this is all on the E string, the 19th fret, he bends up a step and a half, so he's bending up from the 19, 20, 21, 22. He's bending up. So it's, and it's a gradual bend down, so. Then he walks down. He walks down from the 19th fret, 17th fret, 15th fret, all on the E string. So that's... And then he bends the 17th fret up twice. Well, he picks it. He bends it up once, a whole step. And he plays that note twice, though, so... Uh, yep. After he does that twice, he does the 15th fret 
I believe he bends it up a half step. He does that twice also. So the 15th fret, he bends up. And this time, instead of just bending up and playing that note, he, he bends it up twice. So, so it starts from the 15th fret, bend up a half step, then do it again. So that whole thing is... And then he resolves on that uh, 17th fret of the B string. <laughs> 